It's Dr. Dan again. In the last video, I showed you how to count cells using ImageJ. This video, I'm just going to show you a couple advanced topics related to that. And one other thing I want to show you is you don't have to count all the cells in a picture, especially if you have a picture that has a lot of cells that are very confluent. That would be a pain to click on every single cell in the picture. Okay, so obviously the more area you count, the more accurate your count's going to be. But if you have a pretty uniform distribution, you can select a smaller area of your picture to count. And so to do this, you can use the rectangle tool and just select an area. So I'm going to close out my old counter here. Okay, and I'm going to select a smaller area. And so you don't want to be um, unfair about where you select your rectangle, but I'm just going to go ahead and select, say, that, that smaller area. And then I can measure the size of that rectangle by pressing Control-M. If I bring up my results window again. Okay, it's this last one. And so you can see the area of that rectangle is point. 549 millimeters squared. Okay, and so now I can just count the cells in that rectangle. Now, one problem is if I bring up the cell counter now, I'm going to lose this selection tool. So I have to draw where this thing is in the image before I can bring up the cell counter. And so the way to do that um, is you just press Control D and it will draw whatever you have selected. But before we do that, you have to make the lines a little bit thicker. You won't be able to see them. So I'm going to select Edit Options Line Width. Instead of one pixel thick, I'll put it like five pixels thick. And so now I get the rectangle selected. I can press Control D, okay, and now I can select something else. And you can see that that rectangle is drawn in there, and so I'm not going to have a problem counting it. So now I can go ahead and bring up my cell counter again. And again, I'm going to initialize, okay, and just just count the cells in this small area. Again, I'm not going to count that cell that's touching the bottom. I'm going to try to be consistent about things. And so I probably have 13 cells, right, per 0.549 millimeters squared. And so we can do the math and figure out how many cells are in the flask with that. While we're here, I have one last thing to show you. In all pictures for scientific publication, you need to show some sort of scale so your readers know how big things are. So we need to put a scale bar in our image. So I'm going to go ahead and close this counting thing. ImageJ makes putting a scale bar in our image pretty easy. Um, that's just under, if you go to Analyze and Tools, Scale Bar. And so you see it draws a scale bar. So we can set the uh, scale bar to whatever size we seems convenient. Um, like one millimeter, right, that's too big. Um, 2, 0.25 millimeters, that might be good. Um, and so you can set it to whatever you want. I think it's a terrible idea to include the text on here because eventually you're going to publish the image and the text is going to be too small to see. Um, and it's just going to clutter things up and make it look like you don't know what you're doing. So I, I would always suggest to hide the text. I also like to make my scale bars nice and thick. So I'm even going to go thicker than that, like, you know, something just something thick so you can really see it. Um, and you just want to pick a color that's high contrast. So for this picture, we can either choose black or white. Those are both have enough contrast in them. Okay, and so that draws our scale bar in there. Now that we've drawn, drawn the scale bar without text in there, we got to make sure we remember how big it is. Um, so you can write this down in your lab notebook. Usually I just like to save the file with the actual scale in it. So a year from now, I know what the scale bar is without having to guess. And so I'll say file, save as, maybe it's a TIFF file. Okay, and so I'll just put right at the end of the file name, scale equals 0 0.25 millimeters. Right, and that way I'll know from the file name how big that scale bar is. Okay, and so that is how you can handle all the cell counting uh, with ImageJ for BME 245L.